Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our funeral service for Pia Victor Perry. Before we start the service, Albert, Marie, and Maxine would like to extend their gratitude to a few people. Keep sharp at funeral service for their efficiency and professionalism. The sanitizing team who prepared our venue today. Wendy Reese for all her assistance. Declan Sharp and the social media team who made the live stream possible. Father Stephen and Father David for their assistance and spiritual guidance. Xavier and Carol for your endless work and effort in helping to organize the service so much more. Dominic and Rachel, thank you for comforting them, Marie and Maxine during this difficult time. Mom and Dad, for warmth and endless support. To the family of the seas, Barbara, Vic, Cassidy, Jose, Elaine, and Jeremiah. We wish that you were with us. We miss you and we thank you for your heartfelt love and support. Please stand as we are about to serve the service.
We celebrate and rejoice today that Peter has had his family and friends to help him by word and example, and that he is able to bring this dignity, the dignity of the baptism, into the everlasting life of heaven. Also, on the day of the baptism, his baptismal candle was lit from a pastel candle and it was handed to his parents and godparents with the words, Receive the light of Christ. This light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly because God and His grace has enlightened you. May you be able to keep the flame of faith alive in your heart so that when the Lord comes, you may go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Well, the way we live here, it seems that that is happening right now. He certainly carried the flag throughout his life. There was absolutely no doubt. And that's why we rejoice with fear, who has kept the faith alive in his heart and in his life. The Lord has come and has gone to meet him with all the Saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. 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 The first reading is a reading from the book of wisdom. So we have the eulogy scripts. So <laughs> the eulogies for Pierre Pierre by his wife Apple. Pierre Victor Pierre, a man of tremendous faith, a man who touched so many souls through his prayers that he sent out every single morning. As we all know his words echoed his faith in God, he had the biggest smile, the loudest laugh, and was the most generous man who gave so freely with his heart. His last words to Avril Apart from asking for extra towels, some energy, Nazi flavor, and a few small bottles of water, was not to focus on the rituals in life, but to go directly to Jesus Christ. It was as if in his final conversation, he was trying to give us all a message. We can find peace today as we gather together and where we should give a steadfast man of God the rightful rituals that he truly deserves, a proper requiem mass. We give him a service without the rituals, as his words echoed on the day before his passing. Here it is was and always will be loved, cherished, and remembered by so many. Rest in peace, sweet dear. By his brother Jose, Elaine and Jeremiah. Sitting writing this down, my thoughts turned to my dad doing the same thing some time ago when I got married. A different occasion to the one we are currently experiencing, but he was also sitting down writing down words to be read out in a ceremony in another country. A difficult thing to do made even more so by wanting to be with you and not oceans away. I remember that my dad spoke about 1 Corinthians 
Corinthians 13, which speaks of faith, hope, and love, and his message resonates again today. Here, you educate even after you have passed. While alive, you taught me how faith and hope were powerful forces which overcame great hurdles. Now your lesson is about the greatest one of all, love. I think it is worth listening to the words in Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. It is not jealous, conceited, or proud. Love is not ill-mannered, selfish, or irritable. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love never gives up, and its faith, hope, and patience never fail. Thank you for teaching me this. Love you too. Your brother Jose, Elaine, and Jeremiah. From here, Sister Barbara, Vic, and Cassidy. My beautiful Sister Apple, and my beautiful nieces, Mims and Maxine. Words will never adequately express how deeply saddened I am for your loss. How grateful I am that here had the three of you to love and cherish him. Superheroes don't always wear capes, but they always change the world. Here was my superhero. My pen brushes are dry. My book's pages are blank. My voice is silent. My laughter has left me. Wounded, my heart has retreated. In this strange new quiet, and oh, so sad stillness, my memory finds your smile, hears your laugh, feels your love, is awestruck by your faith, and my heart begins to glow again. I love you, dear, and I will miss you every single day with my big brother, until with God's grace, we meet again. Fly with the angels here. From your sister Barbara, Vic, and Cassidy. A final tribute from Apple. My sweet and loving Pierre. How our girls and I miss you. No one can ever begin to imagine how the pain, the memories, and the emptiness has lingered since your passing. You were our faithful, loving, and steadfast rock. We began each morning with prayer before work and ended each day with prayer before sleep. Your unwavering and incredible faith has given us tremendous strength and resilience through our time with you during your battle with cancer over the past years. Our girls could never be more loved and cherished. Barbara and Jose, if you only knew how Pierre looked forward to your daily FaceTime calls, 
He loved you both so much. Every single day you kept him going, giving him quality of life through your conversations from Switzerland and from the United Kingdom. Here, you could not be more loved. Your pain and suffering is now gone. Rest in peace, my sweet love. We will hold you in our hearts forever. Shall I go and behold the face of God? 
My soul is thirsting for the living God. When shall I see him face to face? I went to the throne and led them in procession to the house of God. And the loud cries of joy and thanksgiving with the multitude keeping face to God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. When shall I see him face to face? Send forth your light and your fertility, they shall lead me on. And bring me to your holy mountain to dwell your place. My, My soul is thirsting for the living God. When, when shall, shall I see him face to face? Then will I go to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then I give you thanks on behalf of the God of my God. My, my soul, soul is thirsting for the living, living God. When, when shall, shall I see him face to face? Why are you downcast, O oh my soul? Why do you sigh within me? Hope in God, for I shall again be thanking him in the presence of my Saviour and my God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. When shall I see him face to face? Then 
they dealing with Moses and all the prophets, Jesus inter interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the bridge to which they were going, Jesus gave the impression that he was going on further. But they urged him, saying, Stand with us, for it is near the evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at the table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But he vanished from their sight. Then they said to one another, Were not our hearts burning within us, while he spoke to us in the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found where they found gathered where they were found gathered together with the eleven and those who who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised. Has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way, and how he had made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The gospel of God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ.
not to ask you to give you before, how dear we watch you eat. And that was somehow disturbing for you. And how he decided to eat again. Well, today he eats at the table of the Eucharistic banquet together. His soul thirsted. And all those memories that were sometimes difficult for you, know that it was a part of the gift he was giving you to thirst, to hunger for God. My soul is thirsty for the living God. Where shall I see him face to face? Well, I believe right now. And even though there is much sadness and sorrow and many questions, because the operation was a success. It was just that the blood pressure fell so drastically after the operation. But imagine how he is joyful now. And that's the gift that you can give him. That's the gift that you can give your father, your husband. Yes, to Born and to cry and not to allow those feelings to be abandoned because they are signs of your incredible love. But as with the best pictures, there was always kind of a sense of something being superimposed in them. He always went for the deeper meaning. So, yes, your father has gone from this life, but he hasn't gone from your hearts. And he is, in fact, in a more loving way with God. He can do more for yourselves and the rest of the family than ever before. And imagine as much as he gave you all that love and that support and the way he educated our minds and made our hearts grow. He did all of that in this lifetime. Imagine how much more he can do now. Every moment of your life See. Yes, you will regret not having him physically present at your weddings, at your graduations. But imagine him drawing pictures of all the angels of heaven when you do walk down the aisle. He'll be there with you, without a doubt. And even you, Maxine, when the grace is coming. <laughs> <laughs> As you wish to be able to see, you will do the rest of He will see. Because you love him, and he loves. And so God love. So to end with this beautiful scripture, know that we reveal, Christ has revealed to us in moments that are unexpected. And it is only when Jesus disappeared from his sight that Now that your father, your husband, your uncle, your brother has passed, you are going to see him in a different way, in a far more realistic way, a far more understanding way. But as you agree, do not purge yourselves to experience him here in a whole new dynamic. He gave us the gift of growing in faith together. Let us continue to grow with Him in our own faith. Let us live together, not only with fear, but with one another. The gift that He has given us is the gift that we can give to one another. Because the ultimate gift that we have been given is eternal life, which we fear. He's flying on those eagle's wings. He's with his father that he loved so much, knowing that he's in a far better place to look after him now than ever before. Amen. Amen. Please stand up.
Heavenly Father, we thank you as always that you bring us into the reality of life even through death. Knowing that our earthly lives are just a temporary passing into eternal life. And so to you, we now offer up our prayers and petitions. In baptism, Pierre received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead you over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Our brother Pierre was nourished at the table of the Saviour. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Many friends and many members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your Son. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. The family and friends of Pierre seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for you. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your Son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, we thank you that as Pierre thirsts for you, we too thirst for that great reunion with you and all the angels in heaven, protecting guidance on our journey together in faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord of our whole creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine of God and the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless the Lord of our whole creation. To calm the spirit and comfort our heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Watch me, O Lord, from my liberty.
was one alone yet set to death, so that we might all escape from dying. And as one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so we come with the choirs of angels, with grace and with joy, we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are a thief, O Lord, and all your created righteousness you praise. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your man. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously may only these gifts we are brought to you for consecration. Today may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, and all of you will eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the disciple was headed and took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my love. The blood of you and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Whom you have called from 
this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for me of the evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always free from sin, safe from all distress, and we wait for the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent you apart for peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant you peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
we await the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with His glorified Yes. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant here, who today has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and free from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So the Final commendation will be done at the great side. So we'll just have the concluding prayer here, and then as quickly as possible, we will leave and go to the cemetery. Is that okay? Thank you to all those who were with us in the live stream. We ask you to continue to pray for the bereaved and the same family. And I know that they are very grateful. So I think I'd like to thank you on behalf, especially for those of you who resist the temptation to even date them with a phone call. There will be time for that. If you do, there's a good time to grieve and relax. Okay? So thank you for that respect that you're showing the family, and uh, there's plenty of time for that. Good Lord, you. And, and with your spirit. May our God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go and have a peace to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.